Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. A meeting was held yesterday, and the meeting hmm, it was very heated. A lot of things transpired, you know. So we will give you the aspect of the informations that we gathered tomorrow morning. We'll go live to give you the authentic conclusion of uh, the because the information are still coming on. Information are still coming on. So just listen to this. Just listen to this. Disbursement process. Disbursement surely will happen. Disbursement surely will happen. And they are working on it. They are really working on uh, it. And uh, the, the, the quarrel is being resolved. The two UAG and AGPGN are trying to come together to disburse. So just listen to the meeting that was held yesterday, some of the things. Tomorrow, we'll go live to give you the, the gathered information and authenticated information because we are still gathering information. The meeting just concluded and uh, the information are flying up and down. We don't know which one is which. So tomorrow, we'll give you the authentic, uh, conclusive conclusion of the meeting. But just listen to the information we have at hand now and the analysis. See you tomorrow around 10, 10.30 when we go live i am mr chris it is expedient to come your way to set the record straight on the prevarication and fabrication of falsehood being peddled around by the bundle vendors who are so bent on extorting more masses in nigeria before disbursement we come on board. However, the disbursement team leader in passing of Pastor John has directed me to communicate the public that following the resolution between him and his team member, which include Comrade Abdul Yakub and Pastor Felix Amopiton. It is an obvious fact that there was a meeting between the disbursement team and the Federal Government Committee. The Federal Government Committee therefore directed that since Nigeria is being subdivided into six geopolitical zones, that is Northeast, Northwest, North Central, South South, South East, and South West, respectively. Under this project, there will be a regional coordinators and state coordinators, whose role is strictly to monitor and supervise how project is being implemented. Consequently, upon this, the Federal Government Committee directed that the Southeast Zonal Coordinator and the FCT Coordinator should be allocated to Apostle Ken Nwakama, while the Southwest, South South, North Central, North East, and North West zonal coordinators should be produced by Pastor John, Comrade Abdul Yakub, the German machine, and Pastor Felix Amopeton. Besides, Pastor John and his team wishes to assure their loyalists and supporters to remain calm and ignore any write-up, voice notes, that is saying anything contrary to this or flying any list that contain the names of people that are to man each of these geopolitical zones and states respectively, that all the lists flying around are just lies from the pit of hell. The team also assured that they are loyalists and supporters from the southeast zone should remain calm and resolute as their interest is safe and well 
protected. Pastor John and his team also advise the public to ignore any adverse that has to do with sales of project slots or beneficiary slots as nothing like that is in existence. It is just a scam. Finally, the team assured the public that disbursement is sacrosanct as the federal government committee is working around the clock to ensure that this baby is delivered safely. Once more, the public is hereby charged to be wise and vigilant of these nefarious activities of these men of the kingdom of darkness who are fully out to make the masses to their bones. I am Mr. Chris. Those recent occurrences that interplay between Tuesday, Wednesday and yesterday in the grant ecosystem. As you already know, the official process and proceedings of disbursement commence on Monday, the 10th of June 2024. And after Monday, there was another high profile meeting on Tuesday, Wednesday. And I'm here to give you a brief, exclusive brief of this last meeting. It's one of the most strategic of all meetings ever in the grant ecosystem. You might have heard updates circulating in the grant ecosystem on some certain factions of the UAAG uh, celebrating the return of Apostle Ambassador Ken Wakama as the country director of the UAAG and the disappearance of the Palace Boys or the AGPGN in the ecosystem or in the hem of disbursement affairs. We are always here to reveal the truth, hence you will know where to base your judgment and decision from or you will not be misled by people that project fake news and fallacies in the ecosystem for their self or cabal aggrandizement. We try to balance our reportage to ensure you are well guided towards the entire groups and authorities that are saddled with the responsibilities of this disbursement. In this two days ago meeting, the government authority decided to segment Nigeria into six regions that it is. Segmenting the process of disbursement and projects that succeed disbursement into the Northeast, Northwest, North Central, Southwest, South South, and Southeast, respectively. They equally pencil down influential names and authorities that should or coordinate these six regions. The major question at this moment is, is disbursement different from projects? And the answer is yes, there is disbursement and there is project. Remember that initially trillions of naira were penciled down for disbursement. During the tasty curves that exist between the UAAG and the AGPGM, this trillions of naira was later presented in the table of government committee that later feels disbursing such trillions of naira perhaps disbursing 5 million naira to beneficiaries or 100 million naira to NGOs will inflate the already worsened state of the economy or causes the depreciation of naira to dollar and the government later review downward these millions of naira that shall have better the lives of beneficiaries even more into few millions and hundreds of thousands. This aspect will be duly addressed in the next episode of our video. Therefore, the money was split into percentage for disbursement. The trillions of naira was split into project execution and disbursement to the masses. Let's say about 25 to 30% of the entire trillions was allocated for disbursement to recipients, Nigerian masses, while about uh, 75 or 70% of the trillions was allocated for project execution across 86 states plus FCTs. But this money now is again segmented into six regions and individuals or authorities 
have been selected to man these regions. The entire process is designed in a way that disbursement will commence in the first part. While I know some people will ask a question, now that there is a project merged together with disbursement, won't it cause another delay? The answer is no. The entire process is arranged in a way that disbursement will commence in the first part, succeeded almost immediately before the completion of disbursement by the project. Between this period, there are certain activities that are ongoing right now. Some people are now hiding under this new information to sell the project to the masses. You will see people approaching the unsuspected members of the public requesting for subscription of the NGOs into the project. Projects cannot be bought. Don't let anyone deceive you. Project is 37 in number, 36 state plus the FCC, and it is one pay state in the Federation. And so no one can sell the project slot. Project is highly monitored by government authorities. Normally, we always know that bringing in government involvement in disbursement of grants from a non-governmental body will involve government hijacking the process. Now, government are the one regulating how the project will be executed. Let's say they will be the ones that man the project execution or coordinate the project execution across the state, assisted by the big wigs in the grants ecosystem that you already know. Therefore, don't pay for projects and don't pay for beneficiaries in the project. I will still reveal to you what the project activities looks like. Project is different from disbursement. It is not money to be disbursed to beneficiaries. Don't let anyone deceive you into selling beneficiary slots in the project. Project is strictly project. It has its own schedule, it has its own content and design, different from disbursement. It's purely an empowerment scheme. You will be briefed on this. Don't be cajoled by extortionists. Let's lose in the ecosystem currently to pay for projects. You pay to your own detriment. You might have noticed that immediately after this high profile meeting few days ago in the ecosystem the supporters of the uaag came in with news that uh, postal ambassador ken wakama has defeated them and has regained back his mandate as the country director to disburse the entire grant to the masses this was a misinformation because that wasn't the actual reflection of the meeting outcome Normally, the status of Apostle Ambassador Ken that shall have remained concealed and classified until during disbursement has been revealed to the masses. There was a certain news publication on the social media that reveals that the country director of the UAAG is no more the country director, but recognized as one of the authorities to disburse the grant. You might have seen this specific publication and the audience of the UAH reversing it in the context that the AJPGN representatives are the ones that have been eliminated or removed completely from the circle or term of authority towards disbursement. Now going by the recent press release published by the director of publicity of the AJPGN, it's obvious that the Apostle Ambassador Ken Wakama was not honored as the country director, rather as a regional coordinator in this disbursement and project activities. As we have earlier stated that Nigeria has been segmented into Northeast, Northwest, North Central, Southwest, South South and Southeast. Apostle Ambassador Ken was appointed to coordinate Southeast and the FCT. The last two days meeting was purely a more strategic and coordinated one. The chairman of the disbursement committee was selected by the government authority. Pastor John Omolowon was selected as the chairman of the disbursement and project committee to be assisted by 
Comrade Abdul Razak of the AGPGN, Pastor Felix Omopitan, and Apostle Ambassador Ken Wakama, working closely with Pastor John to ensure a successful disbursement of the grant and execution of projects across the regions in the country. Meanwhile, there was another structure erected across the 36 states to be filled in by state coordinators, thereby revealing a structure holding 36 state coordinators and six regional coordinators to supervise the disbursement and execution of the project. Currently, Apostle Ambassador Ken has been selected to coordinate the Southeast and the FCT. Other authorities will be selected across the state and region to regulate the disbursement and project activity in other remaining five regions. This current activity now reveals four basic names to rely on for disbursement of the grant. Pastor John Omolowon, Pastor Felix Omopitan, Comrade Abdurazak of AGPGN or German Machine, and Apostle Ambassador Ken Wakama. Going by the recent activity, it implies that information circulating across the platform of Apostle Ambassador Ken being the country director to disperse the grants to everyone is purely misleading. Pastor John Omolowun is the chairman regulating or overseeing the entire disbursement activity as selected by the government. I know at this point the supporters of the UAAG may criticize this video because of these revelations. But mind you, this activity is not influenced by the AGPGN, but purely a decision of the federal government authority, all to ensure there will be no fisticuffs during disbursement of the grant, aware of the long-running face-off and conflicts that have marred the camp of the UAAG and the AGPGN since January 2024 till date. Besides, the subscribers of this grant are not actually interested on whose name or whose platform disposes the grant. What the masses are interested on in the moment is successful disbursement of the grant and the alerts in their bank account. Therefore, whosoever the government authority pick to disburse should not be a matter of concern to the beneficiaries or the masses, including the UAAG subscribers. The most important thing is that no authorities, no grant facilitator or promoter is neglected or sidelined. Both the AGPGN representatives and the UAAG country director and representative has been selected to oversee the entire disbursement activity. This is what the masses were long anticipating all this while. So if selecting a neutral party to disburse the grant, will bring about speedy disbursement, so be it. I think it's the prayer of the masses being answered by God. There is no need the platform trying to push on who is the country director. At this moment, whoever disburses doesn't matter. What matters is the alert in our bank account. Beside this, there are fears entertained by the UAAG and AGPGN representatives falling under the caliphate of the UAAG country director. Some AGPGN representatives are entertaining fears that they will not receive disbursement in Southeast because of being AGPGN members or in the FCT coordinated by Apostle Ambassador Ken. This should not be a matter of worry or concern at all. In the same vein, the UAAG subscribers are entertaining fears that the AGPGN coordinators in the South South, North Central, North West, North East and South West will not disperse to them because of being loyalists of UAAG. No, nobody will be victimized. There will be no vindictiveness in the entire disbursement process. The chairman is maintaining pure neutrality ensuring there will be fairness, justice, and equity throughout the entire disbursement process. Therefore, don't entertain fears whether you are a UAAG loyalist or AGPGN loyalist. You will definitely receive disbursement. The most important thing is all our data 
has been adopted both from the UAAG and the LGBTN, adopted by the government authority. All subscribers' data, whether from the camp of the UAAG or LGBTN, has been adopted by the government authority for disbursement. With this recent development, disbursement is not far-fetched anymore. As the holiday is winding up this weekend and Monday, Tuesday next week, the resumption of the meeting between government authority and the grant handler will be focusing on the specific individual that will be appointed to coordinate these regions. The big weeks that we know in the grant ecosystem will definitely be selected to facilitate or coordinate these activities. So there are considerations for individuals that will be selected to coordinate these states. Mostly people that have been at the forefront of grant struggle in this ecosystem. The big wigs that you already know, uh, you can mention them. I know there are people that are nominating big wigs like the Power of Five, the Comrade Abdul, the Chief Hagogun, Pastor Binwabo, Pastor Danjuma, Ostas Dawood. Emphasis will be laid on individuals who have sacrificed heavily to sustain grant activities in the ecosystem and your guess is as good as mine Chris, the publicity secretary, the Dutch Abad. names will be selected both from the UAAG and the LGPGN wing Comrade Oladele Jabbar, Iron Lady and a whole lot of others have already been nominated and selected to fill in this position it's a purely balanced and transparent process without nobody being victimized or sidelined for any reason whatsoever. Let's expect the speedy nomination and appointment of this individual into this key position, succeeded by a very even sensitive activity. The masses at the moment should go and sleep with their two eyes closed, optimistic that disbursement is already realized in the ecosystem. We have never been this close in the history of grants in Nigeria. Therefore, we expect a most speedy activity towards disbursement immediately after the holiday next week. Uh, we still stand on maintaining very strong prayers, listing all the big wigs in the ecosystem and the government authority into our prayers for God to sustain them and ensure there is that spirit of oneness that spirit of patriotism and national unity to guide their judgment throughout the process all to ensure that there will be no conflict again in this ecosystem although the government authority have already subjected both parties into signing peace accord to ensure a very smooth disbursement and project execution across the federation a whole lot of activities has been lined up to be executed in days ahead all towards disbursement of the much wildly anticipated UAAG grant now alongside with projects. Projects will be beneficial to everyone in the ecosystem across the state and region they are falling into. We are now anticipating two heavy divine blessings in our current grant ecosystem. What couldn't have been possible if this grant was disbursed? five or eight years ago there's a blessing in this delay sometimes delay is a blessing or god's grace in this guy.